everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Traveling Your Way Through Happiness. Today, we travel to one of Europe's largest countries, Germany, and the concept we will be discussing today is that of Fernweh. According to nathab.com, you know when you've been away too long, you find yourself feeling a bit wistful for the comforts and familiarity of home, or you get a knot in your stomach when you think about the family, friends, or pets you left behind. This is known as homesickness. The sensation can be one of the inevitable results of travel for many people. It's easily cured as almost everyone eventually returns to the place where they started. But there's another kind of malaise associated with travel, one that balances out that craving for home. There's a German word for it, Fernway. It comes from Fern, meaning far, and we, defined as pain, misery, or woe. Fernwe, then, is far sickness, or a longing for far-off places, especially those you've not yet visited. According to fourpillarfreedom.com, you can satisfy the feeling of Fernwe without traveling far by regularly getting out in nature and actively exploring new places in your own city. Satisfying your desire to travel won't make you permanently happier. What will make a noticeable difference in your overall happiness is being a member of a community, developing meaningful relationships, and finding meaningful work. Sprinkle travel into your life as much as you'd like, but be mindful that it isn't a permanent solution to lasting fulfillment. Research studies actually show that most people experience some degree of fernve, or wanderlust. But one barrier that prevents many from traveling as much as they like is finances. Traveling is simply not in the budget for many households. Dream destinations for a lot of people include green places. Nearly 40 years of research results confirm that being in nature, including forests, gardens, and parks, enhances human health and wellness. Among a long list of benefits, being in nature provides stress relief, increases social interactions, encourages physical exercise, and even helps alleviate mental illness. A lot of the desire for fanciful environments had to do with connecting to a place that you physically wouldn't be able to go to or wanting to reunite with a past that you tangibly can't. For example, if your ancestors came from Norway, you might visualize yourself walking through the streets that look the same as they did when your great-grandparents walked there. Will satisfying the feeling of Fernve actually make you happier? Discovering new places in your own city and regularly getting out into nature are two easy ways to satisfy the feeling of Fernve without traveling abroad. Travel can serve as an excellent way to gain insight into unfamiliar cultures and places, but lasting happiness is more dependent on finding fulfillment in your daily life. In particular, if your daily life is filled with meaningful relationships and meaningful work, then you're likely to feel a strong sense of fulfillment. Available to check out at Euless Public Library is the book 100 Drives, 5,000 Ideas, Where to Go, When to Go, What to See, What to Do, by Joseph R. Yogurst. Thanks for traveling with me, everyone.